Hello friends, we're coming back to this game for a, a both good and bad reason. <laughs> uh, the first is that you might remember hearing that uh, e-cores cause a problem in Wolong, where if you have them uh, enabled, the game stutters and doesn't run as it should. Uh, it turns out that, uh, I, I think he's from, what's it called, Two Best Friends Play formerly. Uh, he posted that, I guess his computer is about as good as mine, or probably better. Uh, he posted that he turned off his e-cores and he was able to get the game running at 120 FPS. So now I was skeptical because you know I had a lot of problems running this uh, during the time that I was actively playing it. So being at lunch and then when I came back for DLC 2 and 3 to play the uh, the roguelike mode, uh, I can actually confirm that it works quite well. And uh, we're going to do a pretty intensive benchmark right now. Now to give a disclaimer. Uh, this game is very poorly optimized, as we all know, so I do have a bunch of things turned off. Uh, but I don't really think they impact the graphics too much. I went ahead and put the shadows on low. Uh, you might remember that this game's character models are very poorly optimized, in that they have, like, way more polygons than, like, uh, like a RE Engine or Final Fantasy VII Remake cutscene model. <laughs> so, uh... I don't think this will really fix that kind of thing, but I was able to get this running quite well. So we're going to go ahead and go into the game right now. Now uh, this is previously a level that I had a really hard time running. Uh, I would get really bad stutters at very, very specific spots. So uh, we're just going to run through this really quick and uh, go ahead and look in the upper left hand corner. I hear I've got a performance uh, overlay up there. What's up? I just got a feeling. But I All right, so I have like an end game character at like floor 150 or something. <laughs> and this is level 300. Uh, the point of this is not to display skill. It's to uh, pretty much just show how the performance is. The Malboros, those big uh, tentacle monster things, tend to really mess with the performance too, so uh, you can see it was pretty stable there. Also, any time you broke these, it was very unstable. Okay, so that was a little worse than before, so let's, uh, let's go ahead and redo this. I think just turning the shadows off is probably the best. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and, uh... Abandon missions, so we, maybe we can figure out the optimal settings for this game. My take on this game is it's not gonna look good anyway, so... <laughs> I think, uh, having it run better is, uh... The overall best decision. So we're gonna go ahead and run back there. Oh, I hear ya. Just the thought of climbing this thing makes me tired. I believe this is what I had it on before I started recording. I can't find the so we're gonna go back to that exact same spot and do the exact same thing. Did you do something? It's so cold. We are quite high up. I don't think there's a computer in existence that can run this at a 120 FPS max settings. <laughs> I seriously doubt it. Are you crazy? Up ahead. He must have uh, QA tested this game on the back computer or something. See, you can see there, I turned off shadows and it, it stayed above 60. Uh, normally, you would get massive stuttering there. Alright, so there's going to be an avalanche up here. We're going to test this as well. Be careful! You know, I feel like I might be pretty good at clumping. Don't be so sure. That thought might not be your own, so I'd take it with a grain of salt if I were you. You speaking from experience? I once thought that I could swim, but ended up drowning. It wasn't pleasant. There's gonna be an avalanche coming up. Donkey Kong kill screen coming up. See anything following us? Let's get ourselves together. Yeah, look at that, pretty consistent. That used to make it uh, turn into a slideshow. So, if you're still playing this game, uh, and you're also playing Well Long, which I'd argue is a much worse game than this, uh, they actually both had the same problem, meaning that if you disable your e-cores, meaning if you're on a 12th or 13th gen uh, Intel processor or CPU, you're going to want to turn those off to play this game. I haven't really noticed much of a, a difference in performance, uh, but it has 
made the game run a lot better. Now, obviously it doesn't look that great because I turned the shadows off, but uh, that was something I had to do to even get it to run at 60 before. Uh, I imagine I probably could tweak the settings and put it back down to 60 and maybe jack up the graphics, but this game is so poorly optimized that I seriously doubt it. Uh, it is a problem with the way that the character models are were made uh, in the development process, meaning that like the basic bat in this game has more polygons than FF7 Remake Cloud, or probably like a uh, cutscene model FF, uh, not FF, but uh, RE4 Remake Leon. So uh, take that as you will. That, that's not an exaggeration, by the way. Uh, they have like as like the basic enemies in this game have like cutscene model tiers of polygon counts. So uh, I don't know if it'll help. Uh, you're welcome to test things out, but I if I do come back and play this game. I will just play it like this because there's there's lots of parrying and just dodges and stuff in this game and it's really hard to do when it's stuttering constantly. I don't think the game actually looks too bad. It really doesn't look that much better with the shadows on to be honest. The textures are, are very low quality so uh, take that as you will but if you're on a very good processor meaning uh, the current gen or the last gen of Intel CPUs I would definitely recommend doing this. Thanks for watching.